Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you've never been here before. I've had a bit of a sort out in here today. Well, yesterday, but today's the first day of me coming into it. And I've also started a brand new process, which I'm hoping is gonna help me clear some stuff. I don't know if you remember from the videos, probably do. You probably sat there and went, what is all that shit on your floor? But I've actually managed to clear the floor space and put it onto shelves and into tubs. Not only that, I've actually sorted the shelving out so I can actually see what I want to grab. Oh, look, I need to process that. Let's do that. Oh, I need to do that. But it gets better. I've started a box. Now, what do I mean by started a box? With that box, with that tub, I'm going to list everything that's in there. And then once it's empty, I'm going to go around the garage and I'm going to fill it up again. And then I can't list anything other than that box until that box is empty. Unless, of course, some fire heat comes through the door from the car boot sale and I want to get it listed ASAP, I'm going to deviate. But that, I'm hoping, is going to really keep me on track of grabbing. I couldn't work from these shelves before I tidied them because they were like a bomb site. Just, I was shoving stuff in, there was things falling and shoved behind and I had things holding things in. So if I move that thing, that one's gonna go. I just couldn't do it anymore. Sick of it. And while I'm sorting my health and my body and my mind out, might as well sort the health and the state of the garage out, and I? Speaking of which, I've just had my morning oats or evening oats, whatever they're called. Overnight oats, but you have them in the morning. You make them at night. So easy to do. I don't eat until 11 o'clock normally, so for me to eat at 10 past 9 is ridiculous. But Ayrton's made it simple. You can go and check him out on Instagram, but he's given me some links to his recipe books and he's said to me that as soon as the video goes live, message him so he can change the price from 19.99 to 90% off. So it's about a pound. They're easy recipe books. You've got oats and you've got all different sorts of meals, breakfasts and dinners and all that kind of stuff. A nice selection to choose from. I think he's got some cheat meals as well. But I'm not here to give you the hard sell. He's doing a very good thing for me and it's really working. I feel better. I feel great. I feel like my life's finally starting to get a little bit of grip back onto it or me getting a grip onto my life. So I've said, yeah, man, I'll, I'll talk about your stuff, but only if. I'm enjoying it and it's working. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like send you guys to shit that doesn't work. Like I've told you, I've always been honest with the Munbin and whatever else. And it's not a paid sponsorship either. I'm not paying me to talk about it. But I've tried the recipes, I've done the cooking, I've had the food, and I like it. So I think if you can get a nice little discount from it, have a look in the description down below. And as long as we've communicated correctly, it should be reduced 90% off. If not, drop him a message on Instagram, tell him I've sent you. You should follow him on Instagram anyway, to be fair. But let him know that I've sent you and he can work out a deal for you and stuff. That's obviously only if you're bothered about sorting your diet out. If not, carry on. Go to Greg's. Lucky bastards. All right, let's get into some sales. We're picked. It's time to go through it. Let's have a look, see what we got, shall we, today? Right, what day are we on? Thursday. For £6.50, pence, we have sold Squirtle. Bargain price. Kim watches the channel. I think it would have sold for that regardless, no matter who saw the listing. So Kim, I massively appreciate it. It's going to be on its way to you soon. Oh, never forget. Yeah, all right, mate. We get it. We understand. Elephants never forget. Dan left a note on the order, actually, and it says... Ricky, you are a legend, sir. I love your videos and find you inspiring on both a personal and selling level. Keep up the awesome work. Wishing you and your family best. All right, mate, you can go now. Still my show. Dan, massively appreciate that. Sold for £5.67 on its way to you today. And that's all for Vinted. Moving over to eBay now. Now, I don't know if this sale is going to be a problem or not. I think it might be. And if you watch the channel, drop me a message and give me some kind of confidence vote, please. Because something a little bit iffy went on. Had this listed for 20 quid. It's the Lady Gaga 2000 and what is it? I can't remember which one it was. It's the Chromatic Ball 2000 and something. The Lady Gaga tour hat. I had listed for 20 quid. I got a message that just said six quid. So I replied with 21. They replied with, it's just a hat. So I replied with, and here you are trying to buy it. And then I blocked him from the listing because I don't really need to be dealing with stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? I'm not bothered about selling to you. It's never a personal thing. It's only business. So if you do watch the channel, things like that, and any of you, things like that, it's never personal. It's always just business. But anyway, 10 minutes later, different account, same similar usernames and stuff. So same areas. So, you know, you know, it's come from the same person. They bought it full price. So we shall, we shall see what happens with that one, shan't we? 
But if you do watch the channel, it's not personal, but also, I'm gonna film every last little part of me packing this. <laughs> I think I paid two quid for my car boot sale. Three pounds fifty paid on these Fly London. Sound like tapping on my head, that does. Wooden, big, wedge, cloggy things. They actually look like an ornament for a house, don't they? They sold for £18.99. pence. The Talking Chessmaster has sold. I paid £4 for this. It was brand new. I had to open it up though just to check. And I'm glad I did because there's like little bits of dust and stuff in there from just life. But it is brand new. Sold for £17.99. £17.47. Beautiful. We've sold the Conti pens. Nice little bargain on this one, to be fair. Just moving it along. They sold for seven fifty eight, and I've just seen there's a note on there as well. Love the channel, Ricky. Really pleased to be able to support your efforts. Hope you have a profitable autumn winter. U two B ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. £7.98, massively appreciate that, lovely. I think YouTube 99 might be your YouTube or your Instagram. I don't actually know, to be honest. So if you are plugging your socials, you need to tell me which one they are. Because now I've got to go do some work to try and find it. But that's okay. I'm going to put your username here and some screenshots if I've managed to find it. Appreciate you. And we've sold Rob, another one of those Amiibos, for one, two, three, four. Don't think it's actually a viewer of the channel. It just happens to have been that kind of offer. Because there's no notes or anything. Pure profit. And that is all for the sales. Not bad for a Thursday. I'm still... So I've gone back and forward with this company. I was going to get one chair. That's not available now. Second chair. That's not available now. Third chair. It's going to be shipped today. So that's fine. I don't care. I just want a chair at this point. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'll pack this up and then I'll come back and have a chat with you. As I mentioned, protection is better than cure. It's a nice little hat, to be honest with you. I really like it. Nice colours. But I'm not going to wear a Gaga hat, am I? I would have done if it wasn't, I don't know, some Gaga, I guess. So there we go, we've got a nice little clip online showing the packing. And I am covered. Obviously, I'll blur the average chest out. Sometimes you just got to protect yourself. If you have a feeling in your gut, you got to go with it. Now with that, if it gets lost, I'm covered because it's under £25 and you get insurance up to £25. And if they claim there's something else in the box or whatever, it's all documented. Not that eBay's going to massively look at it, but it'll help, won't it? End of the day, if you get scammed on eBay, it's online fraud. It's cybercrime. So you can log it on action fraud. I think that's what they called, action fraud. I'll put a screenshot up there. You can go and find it. If you get scammed, anybody says, all oh, the box arrived empty or all this kind of stuff didn't arrive, it shows it's delivered or switcheroos and stuff, always log it with action fraud because that will generate a crime reference number. Same crime reference number you get in the police station, give that to eBay and they'll normally, normally, it will change their attitudes a little bit. So the thing that I wanted to talk about to you guys very quickly, I won't take up too much of your time, is the resellers who are watching all these reselling YouTubers and you're all doing great jobs but you're not actually recording content, but you want to, do it. Get a camera, talk to the camera, and get it done. The reason what's brought this to my attention is Secondhand Shaz on Instagram and on YouTube has recently just started their journey. And if you go over and watch their video, they'll tell you, you basically get a feel for what it's like doing your first video. They've done green screens and all sorts, gone well snazzy. But the fact is, when I first started this journey, let me just move this camera a minute. I do apologize, I do that all the time. When I first started this reselling journey, the YouTube side of it, I mean, I felt so weird talking to the camera. I'd actually talk quiet as well in case anybody heard me talking to the camera. Welcome back to the channel. Or welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you something. So, I mean, that's how it was. Now I'm just like, I'll walk through the high street filming now because it comes with time, confidence. So if you set the camera up and you look into it and you go, oh, I'm not very good at this, I can't release that. Nobody's good at any, it's the same recording, being on camera is quite scary and it takes a lot of skill as well, especially the editing and stuff. It's the same with anything, football, golf, cooking, whatever. You're not very good the first time, but you keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it, you'll get better and better and better. And your confidence grows alongside that as well. So if you are one of these people who are sitting back in the shadows, watching all of us lot on YouTube doing our stuff and being a part of a community and you want to be a part of that too, and you've got something to share, pick up the camera and just 
do it. If you go back to my very first video, when I started YouTube reselling, I actually did it on a different account. Did it on a personal, not realizing you had to have a brand account. And I did like four videos and gained like 26 subscribers. 26, and I thought I was somebody. And the reason why I know I thought I was somebody was if you go back to my very first video, my intro is, because my name was Ricky Lee Reselling Everything then. I think, well, I think the intro is something like, I'm Ricky, this is Ricky Lee Reselling Everything, and I'm back. <laughs> cringe worthy but i don't cringe at it because it's all part of growth it's all part of the journey and these things take time and audiences do build as long as they can relate to you or have things in common with you and things like that i do believe that just watching somebody say i picked this up for a pound sold it for 10 is very boring that's why all of my like quirky stuff comes from the editing i don't plan it some stuff I plan, obviously, but like all the little silly things where I zoom in on my face or I'm in disbelief at my own self, all those things are just part of the edit. Whereas a year ago, I'd cut all that out. I'd want to come across as clean cut as possible. But I've realised I'm cutting out my own personality. So I'm leaving it in now and I'm actually accentuating some of it. So that's my advice for you. Pick up the camera, start filming, get a tripod if you can, because it's a lot easier. I did two years of like this. Get a tripod, because you can be a bit more relaxed with a tripod. And if you get stuck up something to say, you can sit and think about it. And then that little bit there, it's so easy to cut out. Start filming. Think of a decent YouTube name, catchy. I chose Ricky Lee reselling everything in the beginning, even though it was massively long. You knew my name, you knew what I was doing, and you knew the things that I sold. My name is Ricky Lee, I resell, and my categories are everything. So you knew if you was coming to my channel, you'd get a bit of clothing, a bit of Pokemon, a bit of toys, a bit of electricals, a bit of gaming, everything. Obviously, if you are only clothing, you can call yourself like Tom's Threads or, do you know what I mean? William's Wardrobe, whatever. Let people know your name. I think it's quite important. Unless you've got a brand name, a full brand name. My brand name is now Ricky Resells. Rolls off the tongue. Ah, ah, then use that brand name. And you can always change things going forward. Pick up the camera, start recording. Give yourself a nice catchy name like Secondhand Shaz did. And just go for it. Start putting your videos out there. Start putting your Instagrams out there. One thing I would suggest on holding back on though is self-promoting on comments and DMs. If you message people saying, I've got a new channel, can you shout it out please? Nine times out of 10 people don't do that. Because it's like, I don't know who you are. You could be anybody. and Your content could be about anything. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to be watching you to realise who you are in case you could be an absolute dickhead with horrible values. I don't want to be a part of sharing that. But what I do share is when people recommend to me channels. People recommend channels to me and I see the same name over and over and over again. I use that as like a clearance, like a, like a scale of this person's obviously all right. And then I'll share the, the new channels like that. But just refrain from diving into people's DMs saying, please, I'm a new channel, please share me. It, it, it's unlikely to happen. We're not going to sit and watch however many hours of footage you've got unless we found you organically and we really enjoy your channel just to find out if you're saying things like, I don't know, racist stuff or hatred stuff. You know, we don't know what you're doing. Just, just be yourself, be nice, be normal, but be yourself. And if being yourself isn't nice, then so be it. Let that shine through as well. And just film, and just record and get going. Because you ain't never going to do it if you don't start. I think on that note, we're going to leave that video there. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember, just hit record. See you in a bit.